Welcome back everybody. This is kind of a weird angle for a camera view, but it's gonna work for today's video. At least I think it will anyway. So today we're going over this bag right here. This one here is from Kanai Pro Gear. And this is, I believe their Triplex AC's bag? Maybe, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, it's loaded with features. And uh, right up front, I will tell you, this is my favorite uh, rifle bag I've used to date. Um, there are others that are cheaper that I use and that I've reviewed in the past, and those are good for what they are. However, this one here uh, is just loaded with features as we're about to find out together. Um, and it's made of 500D Cordera, so right up front, very high quality material. And um, basically, I guess we'll just start at the outside and sort of work our way in over the features. So we do have a pouch here. This is for, I believe they actually designed it for glasses. So for, you know, shooting glasses and stuff like that. It can be used really for anything. You can fit an AR-15 mag in there. You can also fit a very powerful 22 revolver that we have there. But really, you can put anything you want in there, guys. It is uh, padded on the inside, so that way if you are putting like your sunglasses or something in there, it has a like a, like a fleece type lining, so that way they're not gonna get scratched up. So uh, while I'm discussing that, I should also point out all the zippers here have this rubber pulp, which is nice, and uh, it has paracord for all the zippers. The zippers themselves are YKK, and uh, so you know you can grab it, you don't have to worry about like if it was knotted or something like that, like it coming undone, it's just not gonna happen. So we have that rubber seal on all of them. Of course, we do have a molly webbing here on the front as well, if you guys wanna add additional stuff on there. We have this big old pouch in the middle, which really could be used for anything. I've used it for pistols in the past. It'll also fit a couple AK mags if you want. And uh, I believe it's designed for hearing protection. So to put your uh, over the ear earmuffs in there, but, uh, the bag or the world in this case is your oyster so do as you see fit um over here we have the uh little velcro piece so that way if you guys want to add patches or anything like that you can do so and then when you open this um you guys can see how it's arrayed here so it's designed to have eight different pistol mags um be able to go in there they sort of have like a little uh, bungee retention system um in there works well uh, it also comes with this little holster here from Kanai. you can put really any kind of pistol in there that you choose to we have a glock 17 in there gen 5 but really it can be used however you want also i should point out if you're somebody like me who goes to the range with like 70 or 80 mags every week uh, you can throw if you just want to avoid all this you can just dump them in there and zip it up on the outside like i've put like 30 or 40 air mags in here before and it does work just fine Again, we do have the uh, YKK zippers all the way around and the zippers themselves do have the, uh, the feature there where they made up so if you want to put a lock through them, you can do so. On the other side here, this pouch is configured a little bit differently as you guys can see there. So we have uh, four different pouches again for AR-15 mags and this one here is sort of any random accessory you have. I use uh, binoculars, I think they're GPO 8 power, fixed 8 power, and I put them in there a lot, and I kind of use them just to see where my groups are downrange, but they fit in there just fine. Again, it can be whatever you choose, and again, if you want to just ignore all of this and just chuck mags in, you can do so. I have done it. It works perfectly fine. Uh, now we're gonna open up the bag. Before I do so, I kind of want to go over some features here on the outside. So it does have this, of course, normal carry handle with the Velcro enclosure if you want to close it up. And it does come with a shoulder strap that I have lost. I have absolutely no idea where that is. I apologize. I'm going to roll in a picture so you guys can see that. But if you guys want to sort of wear it slung, um, you can do so. But I never do that. I use it, as you see here, with these backpack back straps. So... The straps themselves, they do have a chest strap if you want to use that. And they have clips here on the bottom, so you can clip it on and off. And if you don't want to use them and you think they're just going to get in the way, you just tuck them. And this is actually how they come. When you get the bag shipped, they'll be tucked away um, like so. So that way it's a little bit more of a streamlined appearance there and nothing's snaggy if you guys are afraid of that, depending on how, again, you're using your bag. I like it though, I use it as a backpack uh, and it works well that way. So that, if I can actually tuck them away here, it's always harder when the camera's rolling, right? Um, is how that works. Uh, they also have these two adjustable straps here on each side to close it down if you want to make sure everything's cinched up really well once you have your rifles and pistols and everything in there. So uh, we have handles here on each side. If you guys want to pull on them, drag it around, you can do so. I have done so. It's been just fine. You guys can see this bag is not new at all. I've had this one in for probably 
eight, nine months, and it's been in my truck at least once a week with a whole bunch of other bags, so it's holding up just fine in that regard. So opening up the uh, main compartment here. The zippers on the main compartment are a little bit more heavy duty. We're gonna get to this in a second, guys. Stand by. And you see we open it up, and I'm gonna roll in the uh, dimensions here, the bag on the screen, so you guys can just kind of see that. But I picked a 20 inch AR just to give you guys some sort of size reference. Um, we do have webbing there on the inside. I'll we'll show you what that's for here in just a second. But you can really use that for anything, as anybody knows who's uh, been in the military before. The, the possibilities there are endless. But even with a 20 inch AR, um, there's plenty of room. There's probably three inches, four inches extra that you have there easily um, before you're gonna run into any sort of issues. We do have a padded divider here in the middle, but if you guys don't want the divider and you wanna use it as a single rifle case, you can just remove it. It's got hook and uh, loop tape there. I believe it's 3M and uh, you can remove it if you don't want it. I don't know why you wouldn't want it personally. Um, it's fine as it is. And then you guys can see here, we also have another way to secure your rifles down here with each of these. But the point I was getting at earlier about the webbing, if I actually release this here so we can show you, is that it comes with these, <laughs> it comes with these little uh, Velcro straps here to wrap around your rifles. Now these is, or rather this is not super important if you're using like ARs or AKs or something like that. Um, but for those of you guys who are using uh, long sort of like hunting shotguns or bolt guns, um, it is nice so that way, because those obviously are gonna be a little bit thinner uh, in most cases, it's nice to be able to move it or rather cinch it down so it doesn't move. Um, but with ARs, of course, it works fine as well. But you can adjust these anywhere along the, uh, anywhere along where they'll fall rather. And uh, that's, I guess that's pretty much it, but it is padded on both sides. And then of course the padded divider in the middle that I talked about. The piece that I wanted to touch on though is over here. Let me just flip this bag around real quick. We have the bag flipped around to sort of show you how this is gonna work here. And I'm trying to sort of rush because we're losing sunlight, but we should be able to get it done. So what we have here is this sort of like, uh, they call it, I believe a concealable extension or something like that. But what it is, is a pretty cool feature. So you guys saw the dimensions earlier and um, those are what you would normally get and what you would normally expect from a rifle bag. Um, but this one is expandable. So at the end here, we have this uh, padded piece here and it's sort of like a, like a rubber sort of nylon material on the end, which is important because that's where your muzzle is gonna be if you choose to use this uh, little extendable piece here and then the rest is just the standard Cordero material. But when it's closed up and you're not using it, it just sits like this in your bag and you can you know hook around it. These are uh, Duraflex um, closures as well. I didn't mention that earlier. So they are Duraflex, all of them on this rifle bag are. But yeah, so that's how it would be if you're not using it. And then if you need it, a good example, I am uh, currently doing a review of a, a M38 finish rifle. Um, it's a Finnish Mosin for those that don't know. And uh, it is super long because it's old school technology. And as such, it needs this extension to carry it in this bag. And this is one of the few bags I have that's long enough um, to be able to fit in there. So basically, you come through, put the rifle in, and then you just stick there you go, and just stick that all the way out. And again, what you have there at the end, which is really nice, is that padded uh, material on there to protect your muzzle when it's in. But you guys can see, it gives you an extra 12 inches on top of the normal dimensions in terms of length. So um, even if you're not using a Mosin or something like that, a lot of you guys out there are probably running PRS matches. And uh, some of you guys with you 6.5 Creedmoor and 2.24 Valkyrie folks are probably running some long barrels. So if that's the case, um, you have another 12 inches to be able to put your rifle in there. So I think that's pretty darn cool. So that's about it. I think we covered most of the features of this bag. Uh, like I said, it is the nicest one I've ever used to date. Um, so, I mean, it's very nice all the way around. It has good stitching. Everything's box stitched where it needs to be. Um, even on these interior little straps here, you have box stitching on it, which you're not gonna see in some of the lower quality bags out there. Um, but that goes through towards every different component here. Um, the price on it is not cheap. So the normal price I think is like 149. However, stand by. It's like 
uh, one of those infomercials. But wait, there's more. No, but they do offer a, a viewer discount code here that you guys see on the screen. So you guys can get um, some money off of that price, which certainly is always nice. As far as I know right now, it only comes in black. If that changes or if I'm wrong, I'll annotate it, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions about the bag, anything I didn't cover on it, anything that you need more details on, by all means, post down below in the comments section. However, the best way to get in touch with me these days is over on my Facebook page that you see here in the bottom of your screen. And uh, I just tend to see the comments over there more uh, than I do here on YouTube, Full 30 and elsewhere. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed and you just saw the video here and uh, it's your first video, please go ahead and subscribe. We do appreciate it and it is free. So <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.